After making over 580 videos and getting over 9 million views on this YouTube channel, I finally found an AI tool that makes eye-catching thumbnails just like you're seeing on screen now in seconds. So we no longer have to spend that time making thumbnails ourselves or hiring people to make them for us. It also writes your titles, descriptions, tags, and even chapter timestamps in seconds too, making sure they're SEO optimized to maximize your views. And this tool can even be used as a secret weapon to help you revive a dead YouTube channel. So let's take a look at what that AI is and how we use it. So right now, you're looking at thumbnails that the AI generated for me in seconds from just one button click. With a lot of people wanting to make videos for YouTube who aren't graphic designers, let's face it, their thumbnails are pretty low quality, pretty bad. But an AI being able to make thumbnails of this quality for them in just one button click is super useful. And I think this is a game changer. I'll show you exactly how I got the AI to generate these thumbnails in a single button click. Along with the scroll up, here's the tags it's made for this YouTube video for me. Chapter templates, putting up important moments inside the original video. A description that is created for me and a title. And I find it amazing that this is all SEO optimized. So it is setting this video up to be discovered from YouTube searches. So what's the name of the AI I found that can do this for us? If we look here on its homepage, we'll see that it's called Taja. It's used by a ton of creators already. There's a link to its website in the description to this video where you can also get a seven day free trial. So here's the main dashboard of Taja that you'll see once you're logged in. If we click into this manage channels area, you'll see all of the channels that you've linked up to the AI. And if I were to click into one of these channels, that's how you go about the reviving the dead channel stuff that I am going to show you a little later. But let's jump back to the dashboard. We actually need to go to optimize YouTube video to generate all of the titles and thumbnails and stuff. So click on this link here. And here is where you paste the link to the YouTube video that you want optimized. So for this tutorial, I'll paste the link to my video here, how much YouTube pays you for 1000 views. I'm going to paste the link to that video in right here to show you how this works. And in this box, we just need to tell the AI what the video is about. So just give it some context. This video teaches how much the YouTube ad revenue system pays video creators for every 1000 views that the creator gets. You can then use some filters. So you can set the tone of the title and description you want. I always just go for clickbaity because I want to get as many views as possible for my videos. So click clickbaity and then just choose the language that the video is in. So English. And then we're simply going to press optimize to get all of those things created for this video. So while that's loading, it just takes a couple of seconds. Just a quick note that for this tutorial, I'm using obviously one of my highest performing YouTube videos that is already on my channel. But to use the AI to create titles, thumbnails, everything you need for videos that haven't yet gone live on YouTube, you just simply paste the link to the unlisted YouTube video into the AI. And by simply reading the video's transcript, the AI is going to be able to create everything you need. Great. So now the video is processed. We can see that the AI has read the transcript to the video to understand what the video is about. And it's gone ahead and instantly created five clickbaity titles that could be used for this video. Ranked by viral score, which we can see here, which shows us how likely the AI thinks each title is to explode and get a ton of views. And say you don't like any of the titles that the AI generates, you can just press re-optimize titles here. And the AI will generate five new titles for you every time you hit that button. And if we scroll down, we can see exactly how those titles will look alongside the current thumbnail to the video once it's used on the YouTube website, just to make sure it looks nice and clear once it's on YouTube. Here we can click the title that we want to use. So I'm going to choose this one right here. I think this title here presents the video from a new interesting angle than what I'm currently using. So I'm going to choose that. And then we scroll down. We can see the latest title that we've chosen from those options that we want to use for the video right here. And you just need to press continue here to generate descriptions, tags, chapter timestamps, and thumbnails based on the latest title choice. Because with search engine optimization, all of those things need to match up with the title to give the video the strongest level of optimization. 
and then look at that if we scroll down we're going to see a completely fleshed out description this is so much text that would have taken me 10 20 minutes to write out myself but it's done it instantly it's even recognized that I had a link in my existing description to another video and it's included that in the new description that's made for me right here. It's added hashtags at the bottom of the description and it's found the most important moments from the video and created chapter timestamps in my description, which viewers are then going to be able to skip between when they're watching the video, which is optimizing my video for search even more and making it a more enjoyable viewing experience for the end viewer. And on top of that, even further, we've got these YouTube tags that have been instantly created, strengthening our video even more and saving us even more time from writing these tags out ourselves. I just think if you're new to YouTube, with titles being such an important factor that determines whether you get views or not, having an AI that can write titles of a certain quality, probably better than how you can when you first start out, having an AI that does this in seconds is so powerful. And then having tags, chapter timestamps and descriptions written out for you, optimized for search, so setting you up to get more views from the search engine and written instantly. If you're currently doing all that stuff yourself, this is such a time saver. Great, now if the title, description and tags are all you need, and let's say you already have a thumbnail saved somewhere else, you just gotta head down to the bottom, press sync to YouTube, and the AI will instantly update your YouTube video with all of that text. But I'm guessing most of you watching want to see how the thumbnail generation stuff works. So let's jump into that now. So to get those thumbnails, we're just going to press generate thumbnail visuals here. And this just takes a second. And look at this. After a few seconds, we've got one, two, three thumbnails created for us in a single button click that look way better than what I bet 90% of people could put together themselves. And the best thing is each of these thumbnails are created with the chosen title in mind. You just click each thumbnail to see it in full size. You can see that these are in really high definition and even better. If you want more created, you just press generate more thumbnails here. And each time you do that, you get three new AI generated thumbnails created instantly. Amazing. Now you might experience a little problem when you're doing this. If we click this, you can see the problem I mean. The problem is to do with this text down here. We can see it says unlock $756 per 17,000 views. But if you remember the title we chose, the title suggests you can make $756 from 1,000 views. And the thumbnail saying $756 per 17,000 views rather than 1,000 views is a mistake. And also if we look at the W here, the W looks a little weird. AI sometimes has problems with text. It's just the way it is. Well, I found a quick hassle-free way to fix any text issues you get in your AI thumbnails. I'll show you now, it's super easy. So what we do is we just press this button up here at the top right to download the thumbnail that we wanna fix. And once that's downloaded, you're gonna head over to the website Canva to quickly fix this. So in Canva, we want to select YouTube thumbnail where we are going to upload that thumbnail that we've just downloaded. We're going to click that upload here to add it to our canvas. And then you want to set that thumbnail as the background. And we're going to use this tool here, grab text, which is an AI feature inside Canva that you get when you're on Canva Pro. And we can see here, the AI has found any text that's in the thumbnail and made it something that we can edit. So I can just click into here, get rid of that S that was over there and I can change 17,000 views to 1,000 views. The W has already been fixed. And then when I click off, boom, I've been able to fix any mistakes that the AI put in that text originally. I can now move this text around anywhere that I want it. And it says exactly what it should say. Another cool thing you can do in Canva with these AI generated thumbnails, I've just put another one into Canva here, is you can edit the photo and use this magic eraser. And I can use this a razor to brush over this guy right here, which as you'll see is removing him completely from the AI made thumbnail. And I can then add a picture of myself that I've uploaded to Canva, use the AI tool magic grab to select myself instantly. So I'm now separate from the background. I can delete the background of that original image. And just like that, let's just make me a little bigger. I am now in the thumbnail that the AI generated rather than that cartoon character that was originally there. 
I'll just make some tweaks to the colors. So let's make me a little brighter, some contrast. Click on shadows to give me a little shadow. And there we have it, a finished thumbnail with me in it and an AI background made in less than five minutes with Taja and Canva Pro. Canva Pro is a great tool too. I'll link you to that in the description to this video. So by using these two AIs, Taja and Canva Pro, you're able to get advanced eye-catching thumbnails for your upcoming YouTube videos instantly in just a couple of clicks. I'm gonna move on to show you how I found you can use Taja to revive dead YouTube channels now. But I just wanna acknowledge that that thumbnail tool alone in my eyes is huge. Because I meet so many people that wanna do YouTube, but they feel so intimidated because they know thumbnails are really important to YouTube video success, but they feel like they just don't have the technical skills to make a good thumbnail. And this tool is just a equalizer. It helps anyone, no matter what skill you have, just get to that higher level, that higher baseline of thumbnails that you're able to put out on your channel for your videos. So that no matter how much of a beginner you are, you're not looking amateur when it comes to thumbnail design. I think that's pretty cool. So we're back at the dashboard screen now, and we're going to click into Manage Channels so I can show you how I found you can use Tiger AI to revive dead YouTube channels. On this screen, you're going to see a basic overview of your channel. The AI is going to analyze your audience and tell you who's watching your videos and what they're interested in watching. So for my audience, it's AI tools to help optimize video creation. How did the AI do there? Is it accurately reflecting you watching? Let me know if this is you in the comments below. It's going to help you better understand your audience and therefore put out videos that your audience are more likely going to click and watch. We can also click analyze the difference between my best and worst performing videos. And the AI studies what your best videos are about, what your worst videos are about, makes a calculation on what performs well for you on your channel, and then gives you actionable steps down here on what you can do to make more successful videos in the future based on what it's learned from the analysis. Really cool tool to use, I think, if you've just not taken the time to reflect and study your channel in the past. But this isn't actually what I wanna show you that helps us revive dead YouTube channels. The feature I wanna show you is this one here, Backlog Boost. And to explain why I believe this tool is such a powerful feature in helping us revive dead YouTube channels, I need to show you how I've been reviving my dead YouTube channel recently. So jumping to my channel, if we scroll down to my videos from, let's say, six months ago, even though I have nearly 100,000 subscribers on this channel, my videos were only getting hundreds, a couple of hundred views per upload. The YouTube channel had pretty much died completely. But if we scroll up to more recent videos, we'll see there's a couple of videos here with 5,000 views, 4,000 views. That was from five months ago. Four months ago, I made a video that got 22,000 views. Coming more recently, video from two months ago, is it nearly 10,000 views? I found a way to revive this dead YouTube channel. How did I do that? How did I bring my channel back from the dead? I started writing better titles because I realized the importance of a great YouTube title. And I also started optimizing every video I made for people that are searching on YouTube using the search bar, because I realized it's such a powerful way to get attention to videos. And this backlog boost tool is going to do everything that I found to be important to revive their YouTube channels. It finds your worst performing videos, which we can see from my channel by scrolling down here. And the AI is going to help you write great clickbaity titles, probably better than the underperforming titles you're already writing. It's going to make sure those titles, descriptions, tags, everything for those videos is optimized well for SEO, search engine optimization. Once the video has been revived, which should bring you more attention to that video through people doing searches. So I'll quickly show you backlog boost in action, how you can use this yourself. You just find the video you want to revive. I'm going to unclick advanced optimize here just to make the process even quicker for us. So here we just give it the URL to the underperforming video and the AI is going to do the rest. Press optimize. Here we go, as we saw in the process before, we're now going to have clickable YouTube titles written for us by the AI, which are probably going to be better than your titles if you're not a very talented title writer yourself. And we also have the SEO optimized descriptions, chapter timestamps, and tags for that video too to help revive it. 
let me just press sync to YouTube to update that underperforming YouTube video and get our dead channel on the path to being revived. I just think it's amazing what AI can do for YouTubers now to help them on their journey. In say one click of a button, we're now gonna get great YouTube titles with tags, descriptions and timestamps all optimized for search and even thumbnails for people who suck at design. Tools like Taja are really going to remove that barrier to entry for anyone who's too intimidated to start YouTube because of how difficult putting all that stuff together sounds. And a tool like this is also just great to help us push our skills to the next level by seeing the high quality results the AI is generating for us and learning from what the AI shows us. The link to Taja is in the description below. As I said, there's a seven day free trial you can get by clicking the link in the description. If you want to learn about all the other AI tools I've looked at that can help us make videos faster and of higher quality, you want to check out this playlist right here. And remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this.